people welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Nadia and in today's video it's Friday so y'all already know what this video is this was gonna be a little skimpier than normal because I have been on vacation this week I had one day this week that I did not even go outside I spritzed myself with a little fragrance put on some regular lotion and I just sat around like that watch TV edit it and do it did all the things that I needed to do that day and that was it showered ate that's it <laughs> I even only have two outfits for this week because I did not take pictures I was dressed up Saturday and Sunday did not take pictures because I wasn't in the mood it was for funerals or whatever I'm gonna get y'all together one one minute y'all see I switched sides I'm not filming in front of my perfume today which I probably should but it's right there anyways so Saturday and Sunday I did not um, take pictures even though I was dressed up but it just was not in the mood I did have a combination for Saturday and Sunday I actually wore the same combination for Saturday and Sunday because I didn't want to be like I went to funerals both days and I didn't want to be overpowering you know but I still wanted I don't know why this shoulder always itches what I'm recording in the same exact spot it's <laughs> so weird but I didn't want to be like really strong or overpowering or anything like that so I wore the same two fragrances Saturday and Sunday and with the same two combinations the combination started with Coco Mademoiselle the body lotion from there and then I went in with the actual Coco Mademoiselle perfume and then I went in I did this so that I could spray this heavily because as y'all can see my Coco Mademoiselle I'm I'm gonna be sick when it's all done. I won't get run right out of this until sometime next year, so it'll be fine. But y'all see how like it's low on that, and so I, of course I didn't want to go in and just spraying crazy with that, even though I wanted like a touch of the actual fragrance. So I went in and sprayed more with my Armaf, my Club Denuit. Y'all already know I tell y'all so often that this smells like a better version of Coco Mademoiselle like if you don't like Coco Mademoiselle get this because you will I, I feel like everybody will love this scent and I'm able to go in and heavily spray with this one without worrying about it being wasted or it you know emptying out too soon because this bottle is big it's a 3.6 even though I'm almost halfway through this bottle for the price I won't be upset if I have to replace this because I want to say this is like $26 somewhere in there it's cheap and it smells amazing it may be around $30 somewhere in there I don't know why I'm saying thinking 26 or 32 I don't know but it smells amazing I have told y'all about this y'all this is when it's not new to you guys so if you watch me y'all know I talk about this and rant and rave about this perfume all the time because it is truly that good. This one is on my Amazon storefront. So I'll have that link down below. I tell y'all that every time. But I have new people that are always here. That's why sometimes I say some things. Again because of the new people that are coming here every day. So that same combination was for Saturday and Sunday. Well I, this is my Monday's outfit. Monday I got out of the house. I just went shopping for Christmas. And threw this on. Y'all see me with my little coffee in my hand. Uh, I just threw this on because I knew I was going to be gone for a while. You guys, I spent like three or four hours in dealers. Mind you, I was not in the, in the clothes or anything. Shoes, perfume, purses. I was in dealers for like three, three and a half hours, somewhere in there. And it's like because I couldn't decide on the, what I was looking at. I wasn't shopping for me. So it was harder. I was just kind of slowly. This is probably the first time ever that I really slowly just walked around and looked at everything not like everything but like a lot of stuff like I said I was in the shoes then I went to the perfume then the purses the jewelry and I slowly just kind of like moseyed around looking at things I never do that normally when I'm in the store I go in I go to the perfume I look at them pick what I want and I'm out same thing with shoes but this time I really just kind of cruised around the store and I, like I said, I never do that. So that's why I was in there for a long time. Then the salesman that was at the Dior counter, he was so, his name was Thomas. He was so amazing. So I was talking to him. Then I would kind of cruise around. And it was just, I don't know. It's just, it's, I was in there for a long time. <laughs> I went in with 
Club Denuets Untold. I sprayed this all over my body, like, and I sprayed it heavily, probably a little too heavy, to be honest. And then I went in with Valentino Coral Fantasy Cologne, the one for men that's in the black and peach bottle. It's not in here or whatever, so that's why I don't, I'm not showing it to you guys, but I had, I just realized I'm missing an earring. It's under my seat. I need to go get my earring. But I had it, I showed you guys in last week's video, the actual bottle or whatever, but like I said, it's not in here right now. But I only sprayed the Coral Fantasy twice on my arm. And you guys, it was strong. So y'all know Untold, well, I don't know if you guys know, but Untold is a dupe um, for Baccarat Rouge 540. So y'all already know how this smells. And then for me to top it with, this one is so hard to come off. And then for me to top it with Coral Fantasy, it did lean a lot more masculine than I wanted it to, but it still smelled good. And like I said, I only sprayed it lightly because I know how that Valentino is, but it completely took over the scent. Keelan was like, Mom, you smell like a man. I like unisex scents, even though that's not technically unisex, I still love the way it smells, even though it's masculine. Yeah, and I have a cologne on my hands right now because I was in Ulta. Yeah, so that was my combination for Monday. It was a little masculine, so I don't recommend y'all do that if y'all don't like masculine scents. And if I know y'all like I think I know y'all, I know y'all don't like masculine scents. But I was off work, so I was kind of playing and stuff, and then I was going to be by myself. Um, so I knew I didn't really have to worry about anybody being around me other than people that may have walked by me. All right, so that was Mondays. And then Tuesday, this is... The outfit that I had on Tuesday. Cute and comfortable. Cute and comfortable or whatever. So Tuesday's combination was I went in with Way St. Bart's body cream. Simple. When I say this week was simple. And then I went and topped it with unleashed, unleashed um version of A Trap Revs. Y'all, so me and Keelan are in like blue clip the school here that like for aesthetics and i'm sitting in the lobby and these women are going in and out in and out and this lady comes back by and she was like your perfume smells so good what is it that you have on and then i tell her i'm like um a trap revs by louis Vuitton, but i have on i have on the duke for it or whatever she was like my goodness that smells so good y'all i did not realize that my perfume was i shouldn't be shocked but it was projecting off so much this bottle this perfume has some power y'all you know you smell good and you know your scent is projecting when you can smell yourself and i literally could smell myself with this to the point i kept telling keelan i smell so good keelan was even asking me like mama what you have on and i'm like it smells good don't it? i know girl i know so wednesday i didn't really have a combination i just had a perfume that i again Put on lotion and just sprayed on and was kind of like in the house all day and the perfume that i wore all day was glossier you i have not done a review on this perfume because i bought it because i was told my friend told me that it smelled good and i was kind of on the fence about this for i know i've had this perfume three four months at this point and i have not reviewed it and it's because i was kind of iffy about it i liked it but it's something in it that's kind of like screechy to me. So I was iffy, but I wore it Wednesday and I really, really liked it on. So I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the review on it, even though I've had it all of this time. Because me actually wearing it on my body, I really like it. It's a very pretty fragrance or whatever. But, um, so yeah, like I said, Wednesday was simple because I didn't even go outside of the house. Thursday, I did not go outside until that night well later on that day so thursday i didn't go outside until later on that day i didn't take a picture because i literally was just out in the store running errands trying to get my stuff that i needed for christmas so that i could be done with it so thursday i had on i sprayed this on my pants untold again and then i went in and topped it off with imperial very heavily okay and I know Imperial completely took over untold 
I'm in the the corral, like pulling the basket out, trying to get a cart so that I can go shopping. And, and the girl walks in, and she's like, "Nadia, I can smell you outside." She walks in, and she smells me in there, so she knew that the scent was me. And then my best friend comes in the store, and she was like raving. She was like, "Oh my God, now you smell so good. What is it you have on? I gotta get that perfume. It smells so good, or whatever." And I'm like, um, and she was like, and she she so she calls me. So she calls me when I leave and she's like, Naya, I'm on the aisle and she says some lady walks up behind her and the lady is like, what, ma'am, you smell so good. What perfume do you have on? She says, she's like, uh-uh, it wasn't me. It's my best friend and she's been gone for like five minutes, but her scent is just on every aisle. You guys, when I tell y'all this, I made a post about this perfume on my Facebook page yesterday because it is that good. Everybody should have this perfume. Like, it is insane how good this smells. Like, when I say beautiful, last forever, literally no matter where you walk, you are going to, it's almost like you're going to take the scent off and plaster it wherever you walk because it's going to just sit in the air. It smells amazing. This is, that is why this is in my top 10 fragrances of 2023. If you guys have not watched that video, make sure you watch that video because it made it to that list easily again this one is in my amazon storefront also it smells so good and i knew even though i had on untold i knew that they were smelling this because this is the one that i could smell and y'all this smell when i say an easy gift very much gift worthy i don't care that it's cheap this is something if you say okay i want to buy somebody perfume get them this it is cheap in price but it is not cheap in scent I would love if somebody would gift me this um, if I was a person that wore perfume but trying to build my perfume collection. If this was the gift that I opened up and smelled it, I would be extremely happy. Okay, so that is what I wore last night, which was Thursday. So today, Friday, which is Friday night, I couldn't put it down, y'all. I had to pick it up again. But I mixed it with something else this time. So I went back in with this. It's like I'm falling in love with this and I've had it for so long at this point. I always try to rotate my fragrances because I know y'all don't want to sit and watch these videos with me having the same fragrance on every day. But it was hard for me to put this down this week. The fact that I was off and I knew I could spray it as heavily as I wanted to and didn't have to worry about nobody, you know, it bothering anybody, I did. I just, I went in with it. So I started with this and then on my neck and my wrist, I sprayed Ambrosia. Yes, I did. Two completely different scents, of course, but it smelled so good together. I could smell them both at separate times. I could smell this RMAF because um, it's on my jacket and the ambros ambrosia was like, it's on my neck. So I could smell them at the same time. And they smelled good. But like I said, I'm on vacation this week. Well, I was today's Friday. I've been on vacation all week. And I've been kind of playing around with my scents I'm eventually going to get this in the big bottle. I know one of you said that you... I'm going to have to go find that comment. One of y'all said that you are, um, you want to sell your bottle or whatever. So I might have to take you up on that. Because I do actually want this fragrance in a full-time, full-time, a full-size bottle. So you guys, my bedtime scents. I had two. Um, regular lotion I used was my regular Nivea lotion that I always talk about. And then again, I went in with the Glossier U. Um, a couple of nights this week, like two nights, I wore this. We already talked about this a few minutes ago. And then the other nights, I went in with the MFK Baccarat Rouge 540. Now, let me tell y'all about this. This is not the real thing. A company reached out to me from DH Gate and was like, we want to send you a sample, which was this, of the fragrance for you to review for us, blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, well, I've seen the perfumes on DH Gate and I did not buy them because I just knew that they were going to be watered down, smell like alcohol, a waste of money and all that. I'm not with that. I don't waste my money. I might buy a dupe fragrance, but there are just some lines I'm not going to cross when it comes to purchasing. And that was one of them because I just knew they were going to come in and not be good. And I was right. So they sent me this to do a video on this. And when I got it in, I refused to do the video because the perfume you can tell what it's supposed to be. You can tell that it's supposed to be Baccarat. You can tell 
all of that like you can kind of smell it but when I tell y'all it's like they have this much fragrance and this much water <laughs> like it smells like I would have to spray this you see that and it's still if I spray Baccarat like that or any perfume that I have at this point I should be choking putting my face in it like that and I'm not I can smell it I can definitely smell it but me to lean in it like that the scent is gonna now if I walk out of this room this this scent will still be in this room for like a couple of days it'll sit in the air but it's not a strong scent in the air you can just tell that something has been sprayed and I guess it's holding in the carpet once it hits the carpet because it is not a strong scent any other perfume that I have if I spray it the way I just sprayed this I would be in here choking I would have to turn my head to kind of breathe walk in there or something like that but I don't have to with this because it's that watered down like you can tell what it's supposed to be but it's so watered down so I refuse to do the video because I'm like I you guys can send me things but I'm not gonna get on here and a lot of my subscribers saying oh go on XYZ and order this because it was cheap and you get the fragrance and I'm not gonna get on here lying to people just for the sake of getting a product and doing a video absolutely not so don't send me nothing if it sucks because I'm not going to do it it's only in this video because I, I when I sprayed it one night I was like well let me spray it on my arm it was so soft that I was like well I can sleep in it because it smells good like I can smell the scent what it's supposed to be so it smells good it's just extremely soft so I spray it on at night like my body sprays are stronger than this so I spray this on at night as a bedtime scent that's because it was I actually had pulled it off of my shelf to throw it in the trash and that night I was like well let me spray it on so I can see what it'll smell like if I'm put it on and wear it for some hours at night and then I was like okay well I can sleep in it so I'm not gonna throw it away I'll just use it as like a bedtime scent because the bottle is pretty that's why it was on the shelf all this time because of the bottle but like I said I just wear it as a bedtime scent so I was kind of <laughs> when they sent me this and I checked it I was like y'all really sent me this and thought I was gonna get on here and do this video and lie because that that's one thing y'all don't got to worry about me doing I will not Ain't no video that important that I'm gonna have to get on here. That I'm gonna get on here and lie to y'all about. It sucks. It's not. I would not have spent nine ninety nine on this. Nine dollars and ninety nine cent. I would not have. Like I said, I'm wearing it to bed because it's a soft scent, and I'll probably be able to smell it later on today, like tonight and tomorrow, because I tried it one day and I was like, okay, the scent is actually. I sprayed it in the air and I was like, okay, the scent is actually still in my room, but the, it does not last. I don't even know how it lasted in here like it did but, but yeah I've just been wearing it to bed just to use the bottle and kind of get rid of it that's it that's the only reason it's still here in the house <laughs> but yeah you guys so like I said the video is kind of skimpy it's not a lot that I was I had to talk about because I've been on vacation this week but I still want to give you guys I know it's not the best one I'm sorry but I still want to give you guys a video and I still like to get on here and talk to y'all because y'all watch these I just got to get you guys to convert over to watch my vlogs I know a lot of y'all here for perfume though so I get it but one day y'all will convert over I love y'all anyway <laughs> so if you made it this far leave me a oh Christmas is coming so leave me a Christmas tree down below in the comments Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, before you leave, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Oh, and Merry Christmas. It's Saturday, so Christmas is coming. I might not see y'all by... I might see y'all Sunday. I might see y'all Sunday. But anyways, Merry Christmas.